Ooh, ooh, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is Nitro Plus, another anime fighting game. I believe I uploaded one of these videos quite a while back, but I actually want to talk about video games in general. Actually, more like Call of Duty and Overwatch, but still, it's button configuration. Now, this is something that a lot of players in COD and Overwatch don't really realize they have access to. You can change the button configuration or button loadout, whatever you want to call it, and it can actually, it can really, really improve your playstyle. Now, let's actually cover Call of Duty, for example. In every, uh, the newer Call of Duties, at least, I believe it started up in Ghost or Black Ops, I think, believe it was Advanced Warfare that first started on. Um, you can actually set the controls to Bumper Jumper or Bumper Jumper Tactical or even Stick and Move, and those are the controls that the pro COD players use and if you actually get used to those button configurations and you play on bumper jumper me myself i use bumper jumper if you play on bumper jumper you will see that it can really really improve your play style this is call of duty now you can actually uh for example you have l1 to jump and you have x to throw a tactical grenade now that sounds really awkward because most players are used to pressing x to jump but if you actually think about it if you're going to jump with X, you're going to have to wind up moving your thumb from the right analog stick, which leaves you open for a little bit. And if you want to throw a tactic grenade, you just have to quickly move your finger up to L1, which doesn't leave you open. But let's face it, you're actually jumping more in Call of Duty than you are throwing tactical grenades. Therefore, it's more useful to actually press the jump button on L1, and then something you're not really going to use too much, like tactical grenades, should be on a button that you don't really need to worry about pressing too much, like X. And it's the same thing for stick and move. Stick and move actually has L3 for your jump, giving you the opportunity to actually jump and turn, change your peripheral vision or anything you want to do mid-air, which is really, really useful on the jetpack Call of Duties. So I would suggest if you are playing Call of Duty, use stick and move or bumper jumper. They have default and tactical settings for each, whichever one you would prefer, but Overwatch is a really, really good subject. So you can change literally what every single button does in Overwatch for every single hero. Let's use, let's say, Tracer for example. You can press Triangle to jump with Tracer, and you can switch out to, let's say, Soldier 76, and you can press Triangle, and that can maybe shoot his assault rifle. You can switch up the buttons in Overwatch for every single character in the game. And that's really, really useful. For example, let's go back to Tracer. My button configuration with Tracer, I just use mostly the L buttons. I have L1 to jump, I actually have L2 to blink, and then for her ultimate is L3. That allows me to actually move around while using, keeping my thumbs on the analog stick, which allows me to, you know, quickly make some fast turns in the middle of a blink, and then because I have her ultimate on L3, that allows me to quickly go in, make a quick turn, stick somebody with the pulse bomb if needed, and I can still blink out of there while still having access to the analog sticks. It's a really, really... Uh, I, it's just really useful, yeah? It's a really, really useful thing to have in Overwatch, and every single hero can be different. For example, even my Mercy and my Torbjorn, to switch from their primary weapon to their secondary weapon, Mercy being her pistol or Torbjorn being the hammer, I actually have that on L3. And that actually comes in handy because if you're playing as Mercy and you're uh, suddenly dived by, I don't know, let's say like a Genji, you can, you're obviously gonna lose, but you can actually put up a fight on just a click of a button on L3, and you don't have to worry about, you know, moving your thumb off the stick and being open for like a quick second, because, I mean, let's face it, in games like Call of Duty and Overwatch, every second counts. So, let me know if you find... Let me know if you find these uh, things useful. If you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day!